I'm Jamie Good, and I'm here at Chateau Boisidin in Barsac, in Bordeaux. The late Denis de Bourdieu is one of the most important figures in developing white wines, both sweet and dry, in Bordeaux. It's harvest time, and here they're picking nobly rotted grapes to produce exquisite sweet wines. From the middle of September, mm -hmm. and uh, and another big rain at the beginning of August, uh, October. Sorry, so um, perfect condition because to uh, to keep everything, we need uh, to get botrytis on uh, matured Semillon berry. If botrytis arrive too early on green grapes, it doesn't work. Uh, so we need uh, we need an average between enough sun before rain at the right time and sun after because uh, we need the water evaporation once the botrytis uh, eat the skin mm -hmm. we need sun again to get the water evaporation this is the first role of botrytis the second one is um, the berry in, in, in that case the semillon considers the botrytis as an enemy and to fight against this enemy uh, the berry produce a precursor of aroma and if you um, compare two berry, a berry with botrytis and a berry without botrytis, there is 50 times more precursor of aroma and these with are the berry infected by botrytis. Yeah. And these are the polyfunctional thiol precursors, yeah? Sorry? These are the precursors to the polyfunctional thiols, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we, when we meet precursor, this is the aroma, the, the precursor are transformed yeah. in aroma yeah. during the fermentation by the yeast. Yeah. So uh, potentially, there is 50 times more aroma in a berry infected uh, with botrytis. And few people know that. I mean, we, we, a lot of people know the, the role of concentration, which is indirect, actually, because botrytis no, is not concentrated anything. Botrytis allowed the water evaporation because after after um, botrytis eat the skin if there is sun so it's it's a mix of many miracles finally <laughs> and uh, that's that's why it's a risky production as well and and that's why it's difficult to produce more than 25 hectoliters the good year yeah. uh, that we reach more or less uh, this year i mean it's going to be a 25 Actually, so this will be a good year. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to yeah. be a good year. Which is very funny because in, uh, in not on, on, always the case in red or in white, but usually for the sweet wine, I mean in, for Botrytis um, grapes, when there is a, a comfortable volume, usually the quality is good. Uh, in red or in white, it's not, it's not mandatory. Here, it, because it means we are not throwing away anything because the botrytis yeah. arrive at the perfect time. Yeah. That's, why, that's why the yield is usually comfortable. Yeah. And the small, the small windows are, are, are the future uh, testing room. We're going to be on the, on nice. the vineyard. Lovely. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, for five, uh, and Doisiden was already uh, something the uh, uh, broke up because uh, there was no... no, no to make a uh, wine a bit fresher with higher acidity and lower pH. That's the limestone. Thanks to the limestone. And, and, uh, and for the sweet wine production, usually, like, um, Barsac is, is always a, a bit colder uh, because we don't have the south-west uh, exposure that the Sautern has. So sometimes it's, uh, it's an advantage, sometimes not. Uh, I mean, during a very rainy and cold vintage, uh, it's better to be in Sautern because it has a, a warmer exposure. Uh, during very dry um, vintage, maybe it's easier. Yeah, we start in 1949, my grandfather. 49? Yeah. She was, yeah. So we were the first and then we are 